Hey guys, so I hope you all had a really, really nice Christmas or holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas. Um, it's weirdly hot in here today, so I do have my fan on in the background. Hopefully that's not too annoying during this video, but today I am going to be doing my Christmas haul for 2020. I know a lot of you really enjoy watching the hauls. I love watching, like seeing what people got for Christmas because I'm nosy, so I know that other people love it as well. But um, if you're not one of those people and you don't like watching hauls, I know that some people think it's like bragging and stuff so if you don't want to watch the Christmas haul this is a warning now that that's exactly what this is so feel free to not watch the video that's totally fine I'll be back to doing unboxings and stuff soon uh, but this is for the people that do enjoy that and there is two things that I want to say as well one I'm not going to say who got me what purely because I don't know I feel like it's a little rude I'm just going to put everyone's stuff in there I have a lot of stuff I've got all of my family's stuff, boyfriend's stuff, friend's stuff, people from work, Secret Santa, literally so many things. So I'm just gonna put them all in one video and not say who got what. And also if you're someone who has bought me something and you don't see your thing in this video, please don't take offense to that. It's just because some of this stuff I opened early and kind of put it places and then probably forgot that I got it for Christmas or I've eaten it or I've drunk it or um, some of it is downstairs still so I'm gonna go and try and grab that in a second as well but like yeah just don't take offense if you don't see your thing in here I love everything I got I appreciate all of it so so much it's just that I have an awful memory so it'll be in this room somewhere so yeah this is gonna be probably a very long video so let's just get straight into it so if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen this already I'm not gonna go massively into this and this wasn't a Christmas present but it was kind of a Christmas present I got it before Christmas and um, this is a nightmare before Christmas advent calendar and it's like a big book now I'm gonna move back to try and show you what this does like I said if you follow me on Instagram I was videoing and showing this every single day so you will have seen it already but basically it's a big pop-up tree like this and then each little door opens and there's like a little paper ornament in each of the doors and that was my advent calendar for the year so obviously I'm gonna keep this for next year because it's like reusable so there was that the next thing I got is a calendar for 2021 this is the Tim Burton the nightmare before Christmas um, calendar it's like a big wall calendar these are the little pictures I actually never usually get a big wall calendar but I really do genuinely love this one because it's so monotone I love that it's all kind of black and white I usually don't get them because they're so colorful and like I don't know it just kind of I don't like the busyness but I love how black and white this one is so yeah really love this little calendar for 2021 then the next things I got kind of come as a set now I opened up the small one first and then I got this big guy and this is um well two zombie trolls um so this is what this one looks like they're obviously hand painted I absolutely love trolls I do have a troll tattoo on my leg um, these were my like favorite favorite toys when I was a kid and one of my friends collects them so that's what I ended up getting um, I think these were kind of maybe hers that she passed along to me I'm not too sure but I know that they were very expensive though um, this is the brand or the name of the person for anyone that wants to kind of look these up but that's the big guy and then this is the little one for some reason I kind of love this little one more. I think it's this hair that's like really long and sort of poofy. Um, I don't know, I think he's just so so cute. But they are my little trolls. Then next I got a microwave llama. Um, he is adorable. He's got like this wheaty beany kind of stuff in him and basically what you do is you put it in the microwave for a minute and then he's kind of like a hot water bottle. He heats up and he stays hot for I'd say a good few hours. I used this the other day and it stayed hot for quite a long time. Um, he's got glittery little pink eyes and I love him. He's very very cute. 
and I love how big it is as well it's very cuddly so that's my llama then next in this posh box here I got some gin glasses because apparently I always break mine which is slightly true um I think I've broken maybe three now in the last year so I got these ones I'll take one out to kind of show you better they're sort of like iridescent I don't know if that's really showing up that well on camera with the really bright light but they have that there we go like that rainbowy kind of color into them super pretty and there is two of those in the box so that is my posh gin glasses then next I got a creature from Killstar now I do have the um, the Dark Lord one up over here you can see him a tiny little bit but that is the only one I had at the moment and I did ask for this one I think this is one of the only things I asked for for Christmas and this is the Grim Reaper creature um, he's got a little tag here he is so cute I love this so much he's got this weird like octopus looking base and his little scythe and a little tiny baby ghost and his hood comes down if you want it to it's got like gray inside it's just super super like velvety and soft and i love it um he is gonna go more as kind of a display really i do have up there another little corner basket that he's gonna sit in so that is my little killstar grim reaper then next we will carry on with the killstar i also got this blanket I'm not gonna be able to kind of hold this up and show it properly because it's so big but it's like this oh it's upside down it's got a moon I think it's got yeah it's got a Sun on this side and I think it's like is it zodiac signs or something I'm not really too sure without opening it fully but it's this huge circle blanket it's got little tassels on the edges it's really thick soft fleecy amazing absolutely love it i've seen this on killstar a few times and it just doesn't look great on the pictures um but when i've like got it as a present i love it i think the pictures don't do this justice so if you have seen this on the site and you were like wondering what it looks like in person it's a hundred times nicer in person so i have this big blanket Next I have this big hamper that someone actually hand painted for me which is amazing. I'm not going to show you the front because it does have my name on it but yeah it's also got like bats and spiders and stuff all over it. Now this stuff isn't what came in this hamper this is just kind of me like using it as a box um, but I will show you what is in here. So first I have this figurine which is called a pinhead monster and this is the michael myers pinhead monster That's such a horrible polystyrene sound i think um i actually did get quite a lot of figures for christmas but i think this is the only one i'm going to show purely because the rest of them are so hard to get out of the box that all the polystyrene little like balls go absolutely everywhere so i'll probably insert pictures of the rest of them but this is the michael myers pinhead monster figure so he is very very cute then i got some pajamas now these i'm not gonna lie don't fit me very well um <laughs> i have gained a lot of weight recently and when i tell that to people they're like oh no you haven't you've not gained any weight you look fine and all that stuff but then they buy me smaller clothes because they think that i'm exaggerating and then they don't fit so i genuinely have gained a lot of weight um and these are a little tiny bit small but the shorts are like this, purple with cobwebs on, and the top looks like this. It says, creep it real. It's got this like frilly purple bit. Really cute. I mean, they do kind of fit, but hopefully I'll try and lose some weight after Christmas and be able to get into those because they are a little uncomfy right now, but that's totally fine. Then next I got this, which goes with my channel's theme and was very thoughtful and um, this is a cute little hand painted pumpkin and it says luna lily on it it's just like a I'm not sure what it if it's made of like polystyrene or plastic or something i'm not too sure but it has 
the vinyl name on there which is really cute then next I got loads of Yankee Candles. These came in a big massive box set but I took them out of the box because it was just too heavy to hold. So there is these uh, cherry vanilla tea lights, pack of 12 tea lights. There is a small jar candle called Citrus Gingerbread, which looks like this. Another small one which is called White Linen and Lace looks like that there's a medium one called cozy up it says re-comfort under it but I'm, i think it's just called cozy up which looks like that this smells amazing it smells like um amber which i have an obsession with at the minute so that is definitely my favorite one and then we have a big one which is fresh poinsettia which actually doesn't smell that floral it smells very very fruity so i do also really really like that one so that is the large one then next i got this i did take it out of the box already and it's got fingerprints all over it but this is the little kill star vase or vase um it's like the little coffin one i think this is the small size because the large one is upside down with the whole here if you know what i mean so yeah i'm pretty sure this is the small one i definitely need to clean it i've i've made it all kind of messy but that is very cute then next from killstar i've got some tights now i'm not gonna lie i don't know what these actually look like this pentacle or pentagram is just the packaging um it says they're called underworld tights but i'm not sure what design that is so they're kind of a mystery, but that is some Killstar tights. Then next I got a very cute little music box. Now I'm probably not gonna be able to play this right now because people are sleeping, but I will show you what it looks like though. And if you follow me on Instagram, I will put a little clip of this on my Instagram playing, maybe tomorrow or something for anyone that wants to hear it. But it's like a little black wooden box and this top opens up. And then inside it's got one of these and when you move this that turns and it plays the little nightmare before christmas song which is very very cute and then the last thing in this hamper box before i get the giant box because i literally have so much stuff is this now i'm not gonna lie i don't really know what this is um this is from the company the blackened teeth and it's really really heavy it's like a sphinx cat kind of head um, and then it's got this hole in the top now me and my mum think that this is maybe a plant pot like to put i don't know like a succulent or a cactus or something like that in would look really cool but i think that it's actually um like a pen pot to put pens pencils you know like put on a desk for stationery and stuff um, I kind of think that's maybe what it is but I might use it as a plant pot though because I think he would look really cute with um, a plant in there so that is the sphinx cat okay next I'm gonna do all of the sweets and candies and stuff that I got because I'd say that is a good majority of the presents like half the presents or something is all of the sweets so the first thing is this big stocking it does have my name on it up there i know some of you do know my real name but it's just not something i love to put out there so if you know it that's totally fine but um yeah it has my name on there and in here we have some malteser truffles these are amazing these are so so good so there's a box of those free taffy grape um, like American candy sticks absolutely love these one of my favorite sweets in the world there is an absolutely adorable little pink Smarties penguin with a hat on he's got Smarties inside him and this is like chocolate that you crack open to get the Smarties out and then there is also two boxes of Lindor truffle like balls in here as well where's the other one there and also in here there is some pocky 
some strawberry pocky which is amazing i've not had this in a very very long time so i'm excited to try this is this chocolate no maybe mm. i'm not sure if they, they look maybe like chocolate sticks i'm not too sure but there is those now before we go to this giant bag here of sweets i'd like to remind everybody here that i am on a diet and i mainly eat vegetables so this is like slight torture for me because i'm gonna have to eat like one chocolate a day and i've got enough for the whole year but in here we have a box of the lindor balls in like different flavors we have a box of thornton's seasonal selection chocolates Uh, all of those. A box of uh, seashells. These are one of my favourite chocolates. So a box of those. A selection box which is a Skittle selection box. It also has Mars and Milky Way in there which I didn't know was made by the same company but there is that. This giant bar of handcrafted Eaton Mess gourmet chocolate which looks amazing but like i'm actually scared for my health right now there is that there is a box of gin and tonic after eight mints because if you watch me usually you know that i love a gin so there is those there is another box of lindor truffles a box of Freddo faces which I've never actually had before but I'm assuming they're just little like milk chocolate kind of chunks a tube of jelly tots I love jelly tots although I did prefer them before they changed them because they've definitely changed these in the last few years and now they're a bit too big I used to love when they were tiny um, but some jelly tots never ending um a massive box of ferrero rocher or rocher which again i love but this is why i've gained weight so i'm trying not to eat this stuff and the last thing in here is this a very posh looking wooden box of turkish delight i've never had turkish delight in a wood box before but it looks fancy so that is all of the millions of chocolates and sweets that i got and then here we have another giant tub of presents now i've decided i'm not going to go and get the other hamper from downstairs just because it's another hamper that's got my name on it so i'm not even going to show it anyway uh, but it's similar to the last one but it has big spiders on it and in there there is a handmade black teddy that my mum's stepmom made and also a bottle of unicorn gin there is also another bottle of the same unicorn gin downstairs that i've already been drinking so i'm not going to bring up like a half opened bottle of gin but basically they look sort of like this one that i've got here so just imagine that there's like three of these so this is the dream chaser gin i did get this one last year this is my absolute favorite gin in the whole entire world it's cotton candy flavored and it's sparkly so if you didn't watch my christmas haul last year this is what this looks like it's this really shimmery gin liqueur stuff um, I don't drink this just on its own I do put it with lemonade so I have like just a tiny bit of gin with like quite a lot of lemonade to kind of just add like a flavor to the lemonade but I love this stuff so if you get a chance to try it I know that they sell this in Costco this stuff is absolutely amazing so i got one of these and then i got two similar ones downstairs to this as well next i got a book i actually found this myself and like got it put away for christmas this is the crow book um, it's the story behind the film this is second hand obviously so it's not perfect 
Um, I'm not sure if you could even buy this new now. I think this is quite old. But um, yeah, if you watch my videos, you know that The Crow is one of my favourite films of all time. So I saw this and I just wanted to get it. But that is that. There is some pictures in here. There's not loads. It is mainly just a book. But there is some pictures of Brandon Lee in there getting his makeup done and stuff like that. So I thought that was really cool. I also got a horror movies puzzle book, Jumbles Trivia. So this is like a big book of uh, crosswords and these little like the ones that you circle the words in and trivia questions and uh, just loads of different horror kind of themed puzzles for if you ever get bored. And I also got this book, which is called Dangerous Games to Play in the Dark, um, a guide to summoning spirits, divining the future and invoking the supernatural. So basically this is a book about um, urban legends and kind of spiritual stuff. So Ouija boards, um, you know, like Candyman and all them kind of things like that. It just tells you all about the different ones. So Lady Spades, Blue Baby Baby Blue, Bloody Mary, The Picture Game, The Answer Man. It's just all those kind of weird things like that so a little mini book then i got this which i absolutely love i know some of you are going to think that this is really weird but i love it this is a goo boo doll now these are handmade and it's basically a creepy like figure of kind of a man i would say in a jar it's sort of like a voodoo doll sort of style but obviously you can't open the jar he's glued in there but that is what he looks like and um, it does say on the top art object not a toy not for children do not open the jar so yeah i just thought he was really really cute and there was him then i got some little spiced pumpkin soy wax melts these are teeny tiny i'm not gonna lie um I'm not sure how many of these you'd have to put in your wax burner, maybe four or five each time. But they do smell quite nice though. Not really a pumpkin spice sort of smell, but still nice though. So there is those. Then some other wax melts I got are these ones in this bag. And these are little gravestones. I'll get them all out and then I can show you them all at once. And... Apparently these are grape scented. Now we all know that I like grape. Um, these were apparently handmade by Pampa Boutique Limited. So for anyone who is curious of where these came from, that is what they're called. So there's this one, this one. They have got a little teeny bit squished, but they are just wax melts, so that's fine. This one this one and this one so there's five of those then next staying on the grape theme we have this ancient wisdom bath and body little set so there is a nature's best moisturizer grape shea body butter a whipped clouds of shower goodness shower souffle and a the only sugar that's good for you sugar scrub so i've not opened the sugar scrub so i can't show you that one but this is what the shower souffle looks like and this is what the body butter looks like now this is some thick body butter i wouldn't even call this body butter i would call this like a balm you've literally got to scratch it with your nail to like get any out i don't know if you can see up here like this is thick stuff but it smells so good and I, i'm not really sure if maybe you could use this as a lip balm i probably won't just because i know it's supposed to be body butter and that's maybe not that healthy to like eat it um but this smells incredible this is my favorite kind of grape like that really like artificial fake scented grape so 
there is those three. Then next I got a Lush Snow Fairy body spray. I really, really wanted this. I love Snow Fairy. It smells amazing. If you've not smelt it, it smells kind of like a candy flossy bubblegum sort of smell. Super sweet. Amazing. Yeah, it says it's use by date is 2024 as well, which is really good because a lot of Lush products with them having natural things in um, go out of date really quick. So I love that this has a good few years because this is a big bottle. So we have Snow Fairy. Then next I have a cup. Uh, this is the only cup that I got this year. I love cups, but I think everybody's kind of realised now to stop buying them for me because I have so many. Um, but I do have this Villains one, which is really cute, and it says Feeling Wicked on the other side. Now next I've got four lipsticks. Just a really, really quick note that's not anything to do with this video. But from now on, if you do watch my videos, I'm going to be putting my makeup products in the description. So any lipstick... Um, lashes, eyeshadows, anything like that that I'm wearing, I'm going to put it in the description because so many people ask me in every video what lipstick I'm wearing and I have to reply to literally hundreds of comments the same thing. I'm just going to put it down below. So just in case you watch regularly and you're one of the people who asks, it's going to be there for you already so you don't have to ask. Um, but I got the Jeffree Star Crocodile Tears. I'll show you really, really quick. This is a dark green. I don't have a dark green, so I just wanted one because I didn't have one. Then next, I have Sugar Pill Euphoria. Um, this is sort of a turquoise kind of colour. I don't look great in blue lipsticks, but I also don't have many of them. So again, that's just kind of one I wanted to try. I got Sugar Pills Dark Sided. This is a really, really deep kind of true purple. And last but not least, actually my favourite one is Dropout by Sugar Pill. This is a kind of mossy green colour with gold shimmers in there, if you can see that. So yeah, that was the four lipsticks I got. Okay, next I got two kind of dead things. These were the only dead items I got of the year. And the first one is this little scarab beetle. My boyfriend actually made this one in here for me. He has the same one. So there is that. I might paint this frame black possibly, but he's very cute though. And then the next one I got is this guy now these have been sent in the post and there is kind of like dust in the frames and stuff from them being shaken around so i do need to kind of unframe them and clean them up a tiny little bit but this is a wasp which is terrifying i don't ever want to be around this when it's alive because that's just gross but in a frame it's really cool though so that is going to go up on my wall somewhere in here then I got these two that someone made for me. So this is sort of like a little door hanger and it's got a little um, rose and a heart and bat on it. And then on the other side, it's sort of like the opposite way colours, which is very cute. And also this, which I actually really love. This is like a little wooden dream catcher. It's got these little feathers hanging and then a spider in the middle on both sides. That is really cute, like so creative, looks great. So there is those. Then I got a little Disney Villains key ring, which has got Maleficent on it and it says Trouble. I think this might be wood, I'm not too sure, but there is that. Then I got this little Frost Streetwear pin. I actually really wanted this and I didn't buy it for myself and then I regretted it. So I'm super, super happy I got this because I really love snowflakes. I actually want a snowflake um, on the other side of my neck. I've got this bat mess on that side and I would like a snowflake on this side. So little pin. I also have another fancy pin in here. This one is a bat and it's got this um, colourful wings. I don't know, is that like a shell or something, the colour? I'm not really sure what that is, 
but he is very cute. It's kind of like a brooch. Um, but yeah, very cute though. So him. Then I got two jewellery things. So the first one is from a company called Moon Raven, which is in Canada apparently for any of you Canadians. And this is a Ouija board planchette. Now I think it's supposed to be this way around, but I actually really love this side with these little um, like ball bits on it and it's on a long chain it sits really nicely actually because when you're wearing it sometimes it kind of like sits to the side and stuff i don't know it's really pretty i don't actually know what this is made of um because i didn't want to go on the website and kind of accidentally find out how much it costs by seeing what it's made out of um, i know that it was pretty expensive and i just don't want to spoil that sort of like mystery so i don't know what it is but I love it though it's very very cute so that is my little planchette necklace and I also got this necklace which is like a little skeleton bat so he's very very cute and I got this necklace which is a spider I was actually looking at one just like this very recently so that's quite weird that I ended up with one similar um, as a present. There is that. We are getting nearer to the end of this very very long video now. Um, so I got some hand sanitizer that is ginger pear. I got a reed diffuser, which is fig and mulberry, which sounds very yummy. So I'm gonna go and put that out into my room after this video. I got a Killstar cat pen. It says, write your own story. And I'll quickly show you what he looks like. Looks like this, super cute. I got an address book. I actually asked for an address book like a real adult um, because when I was writing my Christmas cards I had to ask all of my friends for their addresses and it's just kind of not as fun and mysterious that way. I would rather have already had their addresses. So I got this very pretty blue and gold magical looking little uh, address book. I got two switch games i got yoshi's crafted world and donkey kong country tropical freeze um i love nintendo games i am definitely a nintendo girl more than a playstation or xbox kind of girl i do also love those but these are more my thing so there is those then i got this really cool notebook from killstar which has like a baphomet on it i guess you would say it's like 3d you can't really tell but it's sort of embossed in there it does have the plastic still on it but very occulty looking and cool then i got five air fresheners for my car because clearly people think that my car must smell um so i got this smelly cat one in fact i got two smelly cat ones so two smelly cats Two of these hanging upside down fat ones and this giant moon one like that is huge he's kind of a little different than the others the others are black and white and this one is more of a cream and white one I can't massively smell them through the packaging but I'm pretty sure that some of them are different scents so maybe this is glow in the dark it's got that kind of green tinge to it that would be cool but yeah I got five of those I got a little tokidoki unicorno keyring he's cute I'm trying to kind of go a bit faster now because I feel like this is so so long I got a soup bowl um, which is a cat with a moon. I feel like I've seen this on Killstar. This isn't a Killstar one though, um, but it came with this little spoon and it also came with this plate that's very dusty for some reason, um, but it's like a little kind of saucer. I guess you could either put that on there or you could put like some little snacks on there or whatever. So there is those. Then I got this sign from Sinister Signs. It is a Beetlejuice one. It says, never trust the living. It's just this big like wooden 
plaque, which is really, really cool. I got this huge box of different Japanese candies and foods and stuff like that. I literally can't show you all. There's so much weird, unusual stuff in here, but it did come with a little leaflet. This is what it's from. And apparently there is 40 different things in here. It tells you all about all of them. So that is another food item. I got this very, very cute little lucky cat. I have a lucky cat tattooed on my foot. And this is what this little guy looks like. He's so cute. He's yellow, which apparently is for luck and like luck with money and stuff. So love him. He's got like a little shiny gold belly. I got this Killstar Creatures pencil case. This is the little mini Dark Lord. Um, it has a zip so you can put whatever you want in there. You don't have to use it as a pencil case. You could literally put anything you wanted in there. And it's got a pentagram on that side. I got a little um, gravestone, which says Memento Mori on it. I'm gonna hang this in my car from my rear view mirror. Um, I don't know, I just thought it was really, really cute. I actually found this myself on Etsy. So these are like handmade little gravestones. I got three crystals which are amazing. There is this one, which is a little spotty ghost. I can't remember what they are now. I got this white one, which is amazing. It's got like these gray lines through it. I'll try and write it here on the screen what each one of these actually is. And I got this giant jade pumpkin. like this and the very last item that i'm gonna show in this very very long video is this which is my shrunken head um i got my boyfriend one of these made and i also got me one of these made this is cruella and it is basically made from latex got little bones through the nose and then this kind of dreadlocky grey and black hair little bone on the head up there so so cute I love this I actually thought that this would be small enough to hang in my car but I think it's a little too big so I'm not really sure where she is gonna live just yet but yeah that is Cruella <laughs> so um, like I said, I did also get some little figures, so I'm going to put pictures of them here now because I'm not going to get them all out of the boxes, so I'll put them on the screen here now. Oh, also I got this for Christmas that I'm actually wearing. It's a Gremlins kind of like sweater dress sort of thing. And yeah, that was everything that I got for Christmas 2020. There was literally so, so, so much stuff. I think this has definitely been one of my longest videos. So if you've got to the end, thank you for watching. I hope it didn't bore you. Um, if you're one of the people that bought me something, thank you so much. I genuinely love everything. I'm one of those weird, awkward people when I open presents and I'm just like, oh, thanks. But like, I know that I get a crazy amount of stuff and I appreciate all of it. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Anyway, if you did, please subscribe. If you've got any questions about anything, feel free to ask. I'm not going to know everything about everything because obviously it was gifts, so I'm not going to know prices and where certain things came from, but yeah. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.